If you're looking for a convenient way to zip across town while cutting down on your carbon emissions, an e-bike or electric scooter might be just the ticket. These devices make sense for essential short-distance travel, especially considering that public transit systems make it difficult to social distance. So today video, we review the six best adult electric scooter that you can get your hand on this year. Roll down to the link in description box below to know more information and latest price updated. Thanks, let's get started with the video. Number 6. The best electric scooter for long hauls is the Segway 9-body S4. The ES4 kick scooter sits atop the Segway consumer scooter chain with a secondary battery to make a long-distance ride or a lengthy ride time a breeze. This electric kick scooter can travel an estimated 28 miles on a single battery charge, and the electric motor allows a top speed of 18 miles per hour. The folding point on this e-scooter is different from any other foldable scooter in this roundup. While braking, the weight back over the rear wheel, pushing down on the spoiler brake along with hitting the handlebar brake which is an anti-lock brake, but without much of the front head tube flex, you'd feel in some other scooters. There are also shock absorbers that help with shock absorption when you ride over bumpy surfaces. The dual battery model weighs just over 30 pounds, and it supports riders weighing up to 220 pounds. The scooter has some good power and can put out 300 to 800 watts depending on the riding mode. Single charge battery pack time is longer than the average, about 7 hours. If you run out of battery life and don't have time to charge, it can also work as an old-fashioned kick-and-go scooter. It also sports some customizable LED lights under the deck between the tires. Those and some other settings can be adjusted in the iOS and Android apps. Number 5. The best beast for your buck is the Unagi E500. Premium scooter manufacturer Unagi adds new color customization options and a dual 250-watt motor to this update to last year's E450 model, our previous pick for the best all-around electric scooter. Why call this one the E500? Because that's the new total motor output wattage. Due to the dual 250-watt motors, the E500 required a slightly larger battery at 28.8 volts than the E450 to maintain the same travel distance. It makes the carbon fiber and aluminum body about 2 pounds heavier at just a hair under 27 pounds. The display is bright and easy to see in sunlight and instead of sticking a bell on the scooter, they've put on an electric horn that's loud enough to be heard through a closed car window. The electric scooter can support riders up to 270 pounds with a top speed of 18 miles per hour and a travel distance of 15 miles. To stop the scooter, just use the ABS electric brake or put a little pressure on the rear spoiler brake for those steep hills. Number 4. The best for long distance is the Amove Cruiser electric scooter. Not all scooters are created equal. The Amove Cruiser makes this abundantly clear. One of my first times riding this e-scooter, I kept looking at the battery indicator expecting it to move, it didn't move an inch for miles. And I'm also heavy on the throttle, but I've learned to ease off of it if I want to make it home. That's not the case with the Amove electric scooter, it just keeps going even with heavy rider weight. Keep in mind that these batteries can only be charged so many times before they no longer perform at an optimal level. That means the less you charge your device, the longer the e-scooter battery will perform at its peak. That alone was more than enough for this scooter to make the list, but that's not all. The Amove Cruiser has a wide deck, making it easy to stand in a staggered stance or side by side. It can support riders up to 352 pounds, hits a top speed of 25 miles per hour, and can travel approximately 60 miles on a full charge. The adult electric scooter takes about 8 to 12 hours to fully charge. It has 10 inches pneumatic tubeless car grade tires, front dual suspension and rear air shock suspension, all of which makes for a smooth ride. The acceleration is smooth enough that you can take off with one hand, though I wouldn't recommend it. The takeoff can also be adjusted for a more aggressive start if you want. The scooter has a single hinge, fold-down knob along with collapsible handlebars, which makes it convenient for storage. It weighs 52 pounds, most of it battery, so it's not the lightest. A key is needed for ignition, and there are front and rear lights along with independent lights on the deck for added safety. It even goes a step further with an electric horn and signal lights. The signals aren't as visible during the day but are still a welcome addition. Another useful design feature is that, the Amove has an IPX6 rating so you don't have to worry if you get caught in the rain. It also has fenders long enough to keep you dry when rolling over wet surfaces. Number 3. The best high-end features is the Varla Eagle 1. 
The Eagle One makes this list because Varla found a way to build a quality electric scooter with similar specs to many currently on the market, while keeping the price competitive. And it even comes with some cool accessories. The 77-pound scooter rolls on 10 inches pneumatic tires with dual 1,000-watt brushless motors powered by a big 52-volt, 18.2H lithium-ion battery, and rated top speed of 40 miles per hour. The Eagle One supports a total weight of 330 pounds but is recommended for riders up to 265 pounds. On a single charge, you can get up to 40 miles of travel, but I only reached about half of that. Switching between dual and single motor modes and staying in its top gear. Staying with a single motor and at slower speeds will always get you farther, but I like a little speed. The scooter model can be charged in about 8 hours with a single charger and just under 5 hours connected to a second charger. There's a lot of common ground between the Varla Eagle One and its high-end competition. It has three gears, single or dual motor modes and an eco button to help conserve battery. You'll also find dual spring suspension, a wide deck with front and rear lights, and dual hydraulic brakes that outperform their wired counterparts and require less maintenance. It even has a USB port in the odometer to charge your phone while you ride. Varla also throws in some extra gear like three additional grip tapes with different designs, a spare inner tube, wrist guards and elbow and knee pads. All you need is a helmet and you're ready to ride. Number 2. The best value is the Apollo Ghost Electric Scooter. The Apollo Ghost is a great scooter for both beginners and long-time riders. With dual 800-watt motors, beginners can start off slowly using just one for smoother and softer acceleration. Once you get a feel for it, you can turn on the second motor for 1,600 watts of power and more aggressive performance. The Ghost feels quick and nimble due to its slightly smaller size and its 10 inches pneumatic tires. It also has front and rear spring suspension, which allows the scooter to ride smoothly even on bumpy surfaces. The scooter is solid, mostly constructed of forged aluminum and alone weighs 64 pounds. While that's only 13 pounds lighter than the 77-pound higher-end Apollo Pro, believe me, it makes a difference when carrying it for any period. The handlebars and steering tube are collapsible making it easy to transport. Riders up to 300 pounds are supported, and the scooter can hit a top speed of 34 miles per hour. There are three gear modes along with an eco mode. Depending on the rider size, terrain and setting preference, the Ghost can run for up to 39 miles on a full charge. The scooter's 52 volt, 18.2H battery can be charged in about 8 to 10 hours. There is an option to cut charge time down with a single fast charger or using two standard ones. The scooter itself has dual charging ports. The Ghost has lights in the front and rear of the deck and the rear lights flash when braking. They help at night. But at this level I would like to see an actual headlight up near the handlebars. The Ghost does have a blue light underneath, which helps some with visibility and looks cool too. It also ships with a bell to warn pedestrians, but it doesn't quite cut it in the city where a horn is almost a necessity. A display next to the finger throttle shows battery level, current speed, the gear you're in and distance traveled. It's visible in direct sunlight and even has a USB port to charge a mobile device. There is also a voltage display to help monitor the health of the battery. The Ghost has a key ignition and spots to attach a lock on the frame for added security when running the errands. Also, while I wouldn't leave it out in the rain, the Ghost has an IP54 rating, so some splashing isn't a problem. Plus, it has small front and rear fenders to keep you clean. Number 1. Best overall is the Dualtron Storm. The Dualtron Storm is not a last-mile electric scooter, it's a leave-your-car-at-home product. From the first moment I stepped on it to more than 1,500 miles later, it still impresses me with its power. Capable of 50-plus miles per hour and able to hit 40 miles per hour in its power-saving eco mode, this scooter does not disappoint. The Storm can support riders up to 330 pounds. A lot of products claim to support certain weights but performance generally takes a hard hit when they're pushed close to the edge. That is not the case with the Storm and its dual 1,500-watt hub motors. The scooter is rated to travel 80 miles on a full charge, and I think this is possible for disciplined riders that maintain slow speeds, depending on rider frame and terrain. Its big battery can take up to 19 hours to top off with the standard charger, but the company does does offer a fast charger that can do it in under 7 hours. This electric scooter uses a lithium-ion battery pack of 72 volts with a battery capacity of 31.5 amps, and it has two charging ports for faster charging. The Storm scooter model has a wide deck, rear signal lights, a horn and deck lights that can be customized via the supplied remote. All the lights make it very visible in low-light conditions, which is good because scooters can be tough to spot in traffic. Two nut hydraulic 160mm disc brakes are used to bring this hefty scooter and its 
inches tubeless tires to a stop fast. And while it might be big, the handlebars and stem can be folded down, making it small enough to fit in a car trunk. Dualtron Strom is the best for experienced riders and if you are a beginner, you can go for Dualtron Thunder. The price is as substantial as the scooter itself, but you get a great riding experience in return. You're buying into a great community too, that is good for sharing tips, customizations and meetups for all riders. Thanks for watching, that's about the 6 best adult electric scooter review, how you think of. Leave you idea in the comment below, and have a nice day, see you.